Welcome Aquarius, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with, uh, getting messages from spirit, using postcards from spirit, also grace cards and I'll show you tarot. Okay, so let's get into it here Aquarius. Looking for your postcard, one card for Aquarius please, one postcard for Aquarius and there it is. Just like that. Okay, Aquarius, here we go. Dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide, stay or go, sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom, freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free, loving you so much, always and forever. Interesting, Aquarius, wow, that's pretty cool, I like that, I really, really like that. Okay, so let's have a look what else is going on here in relation to this postcard. Three cards for Aquarius, please. Three cards for Aquarius. Stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is. That's a challenge, right? Can you actually do that? First card out is Pray. Two more cards. There we go. Let me pick this one up. Okay, so first card out is Pray. We also have Gift and Support. Okay, so Pray. I am open and receive. Oh, sorry. I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be showing clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. Yep, this is it, Aquarius, asking for the signs and synchronicities that you require to show you how you have been supported, right? Especially when it's a matter of sitting there and accepting things as they are right now. We need support in that if that's not what you are used to doing, right? So this is a great way to actually get that support, okay? And just repeat those words. I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. Now, right? I ask to be shown clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. Perfect, Aquarius. Perfect. Okay, so we've got cards flying everywhere. Okay, there's a lot to say. Alrighty, so we have here for you. First card out here is the source, right? This is what you're praying to, the source. Yeah, this is also a new beginning, a passionate new beginning for your life. So it could be the case that for some of you, there's this new beginning that has come in and maybe it was unexpected, you know? Maybe it's not something you asked for. Maybe it's scary for you. But Aquarius, it's going to bring you everything you ever dreamed of. It's going to bring, bring you love. It's going to bring you abundance, passion. Get excited. Get excited about this, right? Instead of, sometimes things happen, right? Um, and it's not what we want. But it's important to 
instead of feeling like, oh, this isn't what I want and, you know, it's not how I planned things to go, see it as an adventure that you can journey along, okay? Because look at this, look at this. You've got this passionate new beginning, potentially in love here, Aquarius, for some of you, right? We've also got this here, this burden and I feel like for you, Aquarius, this is the burden potentially of your mind. This isn't what was meant to happen. I'm meant to go this way, not that way. Could be also people outside forces telling you that this is what you're meant to be doing. Right? So it's up to you to stand in your power here, Aquarius, and say no. No, no, no. That's a complete sentence, no. One word, exclamation mark, right? One word. So take your time, take your time to envision how you want things to look, right? Set the burdens down instead of carrying them around. And go within. What what do you want your world to look like here? How do you want to create that, yeah? Be open to receiving the guidance that you require in order to move forward, okay? Guidance from outside forces of you should do this and you should do that. That is not what I'm talking about here. The thing is that a lot of people will give us advice um because that's what they would want for themselves. So it's very important to remember that. And it's not that they're um, not meaning well. That they don't have our best interests at heart. But they're speaking from their own experience. You know, and that own their own experience is about their life. This is your life. And so it's crucial, absolutely crucial for you to go in the direction that suits you here. Not the direction that suits everybody else. Okay? Gift. Grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it. Feel worthy enough to deserve it or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. A hundred percent. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And I feel like this is really important for you to open up to. This is the guidance, right? That if you haven't opened up to it yet, Aquarius, take steps to start to do that. You know, when we talk about praying, it's not necessarily a religious thing. It's asking for guidance. It's asking for support from your guides, from your angels, from your team that are there to work with you to help you through this journey in life. Yeah? And they just need you to ask. Okay. Alrighty, so. Yeah. You see, there's something that is keeping you here and I wonder if it's this not opening up. This is a matter of opening up to this this blending of two worlds. You know, this this can mean especially with the ace, um, this is the ace of cups, right? And this is the ace of wands. Okay, so therefore this is the two of cups, right? This could very well be in a new relationship here, Aquarius. For others of you who it isn't and even if it is to do with a new relationship, I would say that this is about you opening up to receiving the guidance that is there for you to utilize in your life to help you along this journey, no matter what that journey looks like for you right now. Right? So that you can start actually coloring in this, this um, mural of your life In a way that you envision it, not in a way that others do. You are living your life for you, not anyone else. Always remember that. Always remember that. Wow. Wow. Yep. 
see this is you I feel like this is important for you to be standing in your power here okay because at the end of the day rather than carrying all the burden of everybody else's expectations of you on your shoulders allow your light to shine to lead the way to guide everybody there's a huge difference in that massive difference because when you are allowing your light to guide uh, to shine to guide the way right that's a choice that you make it's not imposed upon you by others and that's when you drop down into your heart and open up for that light to shine and it's a very natural state of being and there's a there's there's it's a significant difference between carrying the weight of everybody's expectations on your shoulders and going forward in a direction that is not necessarily you it's not for you it's not about you and it doesn't benefit you not 100%. So break free. Break free from those chains that are holding you down. Allow yourself to fly. Because that is what you came here to do. That is what you were here to do. Right? And, and I have a suspicion that some of you are feeling this within you. This, this desire and this calling to break out break away from everything that is keeping you restricted and contained you don't deserve that however I want to say it is up to you to break free from it and sure it's easy for me to sit here and say do this and do that right it takes work it takes hard work but you have the ability to do that for yourself why? Because you're worth it, Aquarius. You are worth it, okay? You are worth this life that you dream of, that you long for. You are worth this life that is abundant, that brings you everything you need with ease. It's believing that it will come to you, believing that you deserve it. Believing that you are good enough. Yeah, rather than looking at everyone else living their life while you sit and watch and wish that was you, it's time for you to break out and fly. Rise up, Aquarius. Rise up. Okay? I feel as though one thing that could be holding you back for some of you is, is the fear of what is that what is the fear the fear of living up to an expectation that you could fall from and I get it I get it because when you break free from those who expect you to carry their burdens for them it's kind of like, if I do that, then I have to go off in this direction. And what if I don't succeed? What if it doesn't work? And there's this, I don't think it's a fear. Fear is the wrong word. But there's this dread inside of you that you'll have to turn around and go back with your tail in between your legs. And everyone will sit there and go, told you so. But when you're leading from the heart, not from the mind, but from the heart, you can't go wrong. Okay? You can't go wrong because your heart is your connection to your soul. And it is your soul that guides the way. Yeah? support expect help a divine power more magnificent than anything else that exists on the planet is ready to support our every move 
100%. I love, love, love that that has come up for you. It is true, Aquarius. It's it's a matter of trusting, yeah? Trusting in that divine power, trusting in yourself, that you have access to it, first and foremost, that you are worthy of receiving that, that it is there for you, right? Trust. Okay. Wow. Yep. Going beyond this illusion here, beyond the illusion that you can't expand, that you can't transform, right? Beyond the illusion that you can't have everything that you want. You know, some of you think it's just a dream. Dreams don't really come true. They come true for everyone else, but not for me, right? This is this belief that some of you hold. I would love for my dreams to come true. Dreams are free. You know, there's all these things that we say that don't really support um, and, and give a solid basis and a solid foundation for what it is that we really want to come into our lives. <clears throat> and so it's important for you to really start um, putting out there what you want with conviction and mean it. Mean it, Aquarius. Walk this earth like you mean it. Yes, stand in your power. Because I'm telling you now, it is all there for the taking. But sometimes we hold ourselves back. Sometimes we cage ourselves in. And sometimes we tie our own hands. And we become our own burden. So it is up to you. It is entirely up to you, right? To turn around to stop looking through that closed, locked, padlocked gate and turn around and begin to grow, right? Let go of those stresses because they are holding you down. Yes, everything can give way. Let it. Maybe it has. Let it. Maybe uncomfortable at the time, right? You might need to make some compromises in your life to begin with to allow for the changes that are occurring. You may need to have an understanding as you make these changes in your life that other people need to adjust also to your changes in your life because they're so used to you being a certain way for so long. They're going to need some adjustment time. Allow that for them. You know, if, if they are your people, they will support you. Just clear communication is the key here. Yeah, to say this is not what I'm going to do anymore. I'm not going to carry that for you anymore. I'm going to go. I'm going to I'm going to work towards this. I'm going to work towards my dream. Because there is this new beginning that is incredible. Absolutely incredible for you. Why wouldn't you take it? What are you afraid of? Tapping into that. What am I afraid of here? What are my core beliefs that are stopping me from reaching that? Yeah? Travel that path, Aquarius. Travel that path that not many travel. That may even sometimes feel a little bit lonely at times. But travel it anyway. Because where you are heading is totally worth it. And it is everything that you deserve. Okay, so let's revisit the postcard. Dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic unreal expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy. You act messy and your world stays in chaos, tension and disarray. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Then you can decide, stay or go. 
sink or swim, move or stay still. Acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to the real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Yes, set yourself and others free. Because by breaking out of those chains, you not only set yourself free, but you set others free as well, right? And from spirit, they sign it off saying, loving you so much, always and forever. Yeah, they are there, Aquarius. Utilize them. Okay, call on them. They are there for you. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.